What's up, everybody? So today I'm going to do a tier list video, as you can see. Uh, we're going to talk about Star Wars. Everyone loves Star Wars, right? Uh, so I'm going to throw out some opinions about Star Wars, and people will probably hate it or love it, and most likely hate it, because let me tell you, I am a prequel child. Um, I was born in 92, and at the, at the time of 2000 or 1999, I was seven or eight years old. So the prequel movies were kind of the first Star Wars I have ever seen. And of course, people like to make jokes. The These kids or these films are made for children. They dumb it. It's just dumb. It's so dumb that only a child could like it. And that's true, I guess. Pod racing, giant monster fights, lightsabers. Um... <laughs> all that loved it um ate it up as a kid i know they're not good movies now uh there's just so many problems with the characters the the stories mm, yeah, yeah the way it's shot like the all the cgi stuff doesn't quite hold up but for nostalgia's sake i do like them a lot so they'll be higher on this list than a lot of people will expect or want to put up there um you might put these at the very bottom. I'm putting them probably somewhere in the middle or a little higher, depending. We'll see how I think about it. Okay, so there's that disclaimer out of the way. Um, of course, I love the original trilogy. The new movies, hmm. Um, is, is The Last Jedi on here? I see... Oh, it is. Okay. So this is all the Star Wars movies that are out right now. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. So we're starting here with Attack of the Clones. Um, Attack of the Clones. Our introduction to the great and powerful Hayden Christensen. <laughs> um, hmm. They, ha they have that monster fight, which I do like. Those, cr those weird monsters I thought were pretty cool. Um, Anakin having the... He has a he has kind of a dark turn in this movie, which whether you think it was well acted or not, the character it it has a good motivational point in there. Whenever he has that talk with Padme, um, and he slaughtered all those people, it's pretty dark. Hmm. I will say, I think I'm gonna leave it in C. Um. So let's just do all the prequels first. So Phantom Menace, probably a B. Um, just for the Darth Maul fight at the end alone. But Pod Racing, pretty cool. Funny dialogue from Anakin as a child. Yippee! And I'll I'll try tur what does he say? I'll try spinning. That's a, that's a cool trick. I love all of his. God, what's that little guy's name? That kid's actor's name uh fuck i can't remember but not good but funny so it has the it has kind of the it's so bad it's good quality for the first one but the ending stuff's so great um liam neeson of course killing it ewan mcgregor killing it so it's a little bit if i was gonna watch one i'd probably watch the phantom menace instead of attack of the clones which i haven't seen attack of the clones in forever i recently did rewatch episode one like a year or two ago so i'd rather watch that again probably uh as opposed to watching attack of the clones all right revenge of the sith it's a it's a tier um epic grandiose battle at the end 20 minute long lightsaber battle uh, i don't know how long it actually is but it feels like 20 minutes but it's all well choreographed um just epic stuff I, pretty good i like it uh if you talk about like endings for a movie what what more iconic stuff is there than the high ground you have the high ground you have you took her from me you have i hate you you have all that that ending stuff is just so cool if you ask me which you are asking me if you're watching this. Um, just, I don't know. It's It holds a dear place to my heart. 
it's probably it's not as good as everything else on here um as the, some of the other ones but it just has a near and dear place to my heart i have to put it up there okay so let's go through the original trilogy now so here's the first star wars um s i can't put it on the level of the prequel stuff I will say Empire Strikes Back, S. All the iconic stuff in there. I feel like I don't have to defend myself as much for these uh, or explain myself as much for these than I do the other ones. So those two are S. Um, Return of the Jedi. Still fun. People hate on the Return of the Jedi a lot, but it's still great. Um... The Ewok stuff, I'm fine with the Ewok stuff. It's a little off-putting, but... Or a little more silly, but... Fine. Uh, it's it's be it's better than Phantom Menace and... And, um... Attack of the Clones. But would I say it's better than Re Revenge of the Sith? I, don't, I wouldn't say that. Uh, just because I think... Just because I love it so much. Um, and... If I was going to watch... One, would I watch? I would watch Return of the Jedi before Episode One or Attack of the Clones. So I guess it comes for me. It's kind of like watchability. Which would I? What would I rather watch? And I'd rather watch like the first Star Wars or or of Empire Strikes Back before I'd watch Episode Three or or any of these. So it's kind of what I what would I watch kind of list. Um. All right. Let's the standalone films. We'll do those last. So. Um, what is, what are they even called? This one is The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens. Right? It's been that long since I've The Force Awakens. Yeah. Um, I don't like the new ones as much. I think it's a B. Um... Rehashing the Death Star plot. Kylo Ren is the only great thing about these new movies. Rey is okay in some, some movies. Um, Luke is cool in some of it. Uh, Finn is okay. He's more annoying sometimes. Poe Dameron, if he was in it more, would be cool. But I don't feel like he has much much to do in the in the series. Besides in The Last Jedi. Okay, so Last Jedi is an A. I like The Last Jedi more than I like um, the... I can't remember The Force Awakens. I like... Well, I, like, Ryan Johnson did what I wanted him to do in a Star Wars movie. All of the, oh, subversion of expectations. Everyone kind of had a big deal to say, like, well, just subver subverting expectations for the sake of for just the sake of it, not good. But I feel like it was done properly and well. I was so shocked of everything that was happening and where it went because you think about Star Wars movies having kind of a formula of things that happen. And I want I don't want to say tropes, but there's themes, you know, that they repeat. Good versus evil, changing to the dark side. And he kind of, he had a way of making the story where I just didn't know where it was going to go. Was Rey and um, Kylo going to actually team up? I wanted them to so bad. <laughs> I was like, yes, do this, but the, you have to kill your... Why do you have to kill your friends that you have to start over? Don't see, like, like why couldn't he just have said, no, yeah, we killed the the uh, um, Sardonius, whatever his name was. I want to say Sidious, but it's not... Whatever his... Uh, golden jacket man with the messed up face. <laughs> Throw away character doesn't doesn't even matter. So I already forgot what his name was. Uh, all right, so we move on to the last. This is the last Jedi. Force Awakens, the last Jedi. Um. No, what? I'm getting I'm confusing myself. The Last Jedi, and then this one. What was the newest one? Guys, 
I forget what the newest one is called. Shows shows you how much I think about these these newer films. Okay, so I had to look it up. Rise of Skywalker. The Rise of Skywalker. Bland, generic title. C. C. Fun moments, okay? It's fun, but so much jam-packed into this movie, I can't tell you exactly what happened. I've only seen it. I do need to rewatch it, and I would like to see it again. But watching it the first time, it was just so... It just, it just zooms right by you. Nothing has the time to breathe or to unfold. It's just they keep going and going and going. And wow, I, I can't even put it... I couldn't remember the name of it. The last... No. Rise of Skywalker. Um, Palpatine. Palpatine's granddaughter. It's like... I just don't care for it. Um, again, the Rey and Kylo stuff. The best parts of the movie. And Palpatine was fun. That weird Nazi planet they went to where it's like under lockdown. That place was fun. They had that little weird tiny guy that was i love that guy he should have his own movie uh so there's that it's a c i don't like it as much as i would rather watch these movies as opposed to this i just think it's bad at least the first the at least the force awakens has some um character development it has stuff you can follow and a cohesive story and i just like again the the Last Jedi, I just like all the stuff with Luke and how, where it goes. With I just like it better. I don't know anything about The Last Jedi, of what what the themes are. I can't can't even tell you. Um, I guess you could you could question me about these and what the themes are of the prequels. And I could if I thought about it long enough, I could really I could give you some of the themes, but. That's not where I'm at right now. I'm mel I'm uh, I'm melting my brain just thinking about all this stuff, and it's all swirling around, and I'm trying to like keep just keep going. All right, so solo. Guess what? Didn't even see solo. I so we'll just leave it off the board. Did not see solo because I don't need to know anything else about Han Solo. I know enough about him from the from the uh, from the original trilogy. Cool guy. Uh, rogue. What? Like um. He's Han Solo. He's he, that's you know who he is. I don't need to see more of him. I was just not in the trailers and all that stuff. Just did not sell me enough. And then hearing reviews. Reviews were eh to meh. So I was like, all right, passing it. Not giving it. Not giving my money. Not paying to see it. And just not using my time on it. Don't care enough. Sorry for everyone who loves Han Solo. And who loves Solo. But it is what it is, as they say. Alright, Star Wars Rogue One. I have seen it twice, I think. I saw it in theaters and I, I bought the DVD. I bought the Blu-ray. And there's a Blu-ray review on this channel, I think, actually. Of me going over the Blu-ray. So check that out. And looking back after watching the these movies, the or new movies, the newer trilogy, I like Rogue One more than I thought. Um, I like it. Do I like it more than The Force Awakens, though? No, I don't think so. It's very dark and depressing. It just depends. I would say that I would say Rogue One is just as good as The Force Awakens. They're just very different movies. So it's kind of like, which mood are you in to watch? Uh, would you rather see a fun action adventure? Or would you rather see like a grounded, as much as you can be, grounded story, like war story, um, with operatives and, you know, plotting and all that kind of stuff. So it depends on what kind of mood you're in. Uh... I think that's it. I think that's my list, you guys. Think about it real quick. Do I want to change anything? Am I being too harsh on the new trilogy? I just don't care for them as much. 
as probably a lot of people do. The pre yeah, am I correct with the prequels here? Is it fair to put ep is ep episode one, the Phantom Menace? Is it on par with the Force Awakens? Is it is the Force Awakens just as bad as Phantom Menace? Probably not. As a as a movie and as a as a whole, no. Force Awakens is definitely a better movie. But this is my list. It's like, well, what do I think? What do I feel? And I feel like I like Episode 1 at just as much as The Force Awakens. Probably for different reasons. Because I know The Force Awakens is better. I know that The Phantom Menace kind of sucks. It's just like, I wouldn't say it's boring, though. People say that it's boring. It has the all the Senate talk and all that. But, like, okay, like some political intrigue you can kind of just ignore that or you can even make fun of it that's where i sit with the movies i i just i i embrace the bad i guess and i have fun with it and then when the cool parts happen you can enjoy the cool parts yeah so that's it uh hate me however however you want post your comments below tell me how wrong or how right i am and uh, subscribe if you want to see more tier list videos. Leave suggestions for other tier list videos, and I'll kind of, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do them because it'll be fun. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.